crispy golden gyoza, freshly sliced sashimi, or succulent karyagi Japanese fried chicken. Enough to get you salivating, but what if I told you that none of them are real? These incredibly realistic models are food samples, and to find out how they're made, we've come to Iwasaki Samples in Osaka.食品サンプルですね。え、これはあの、日本では、え、印刷店における、え、販売促進のための商材になりま、here in their main studio, several sample artisans can be seen crafting masterpieces with a wide assortment of techniques, like airbrushing the crispy golden skin of a freshly grilled fish, aligning the pieces of a strawberry dessert with mathematical precision, or creating the perfect mold to exactly duplicate a piece of sushi. Of course, a lot of meals have overlap in their base components though, so to streamline the operation, they have an enormous stock of pre-made standard ingredients. With more shelves than a Harry Potter wand shop, from floor to ceiling, these containers are packed with almost every type of ingredient you could think of. I mean, just look at this catalogue of parts that customers could order from. The selection is almost overwhelming. Now, although these pieces look decent enough as replicas, they just serve as a base for the artisans to improve upon. Crispy, light and full of flavour, tempura batter is a simple recipe made of water, eggs and flour, but features a distinct and complex texture. Surprisingly though, a convincing imposter requires even less ingredients than the real thing. Not dissimilar to making real tempura, our plastic shrimp must first be coated in a healthy layer of vinyl batter. Then to apply heat, instead of lowering it into a bubbling onsen of olive oil, a hot air gun is used to rapidly change the temperature of the material. The pressure of the air coming out of the gun is also important, as with just the right amount of force, the thick dollops of liquid vinyl will be stretched out into perfectly thin flakes of crispy tempura. どうしてもムラができてしまうので、あとはまたその形を見ながら付け足します。で、まあ、手が完成。And there we have a freshly battered tempura shrimp. As you can see though, this is not one of the most conventional jobs out there. So what's it actually like to work here? Next up is one of the healthiest dishes on the Japanese menu, Zarusoba noodles. Although the form of a single noodle is simple enough, the trick here will be to present them in a natural looking manner without it turning into a tangled ball of nuts. As Kitare san alluded to, the trick to crafting the perfect bowl of rubber noodles is knowing exactly how much heat to apply and for how long. 
All measurements are done by hand and the heat of the oven is adjusted accordingly. After many adjustments, prodding and poking the noodles to curve in just the right way, we're left with the most appetizing plate of fake soba ever made. Now just to top it off with a little noddy. As you can see with the soba, some types of food are fairly straightforward to replicate and it's just a matter of manipulating pre-existing parts, but others can involve many more steps and take years to master. Our final dish will be yakitori grilled chicken. As there is no pre-made base component for this sample, the restaurant that ordered it has sent in a real sample of what they make so that a rubber mold can be made to duplicate it down to the very finest detail. It's fairly rudimentary, but all we need to start making the mold is a piece of cardboard. Once bent into the correct shape, it will act as a barrier to hold the silicon in place while it cures. With the silicon and the activating agent properly mixed, it can now be poured into the mold. Now looking at the inside of the mold, you can see how every fine detail of the chicken has been captured in the rubber. Now that the original yakitori skewer has been removed from the mold and its insides properly cleaned, another type of silicon resin will be poured in to make the replica. A light skin colour is used to emulate the correct tone of the meat and provide a good base to be painted on at a later stage. With the mold finished, it's time to head over to the studio and give it a delicious new coat of paint. えっと、塗り方としては、あの、あんまり肌色で乗っぺりするので、少しこういう風にジグラデーション入れてから、え、薄い焼き色から順に濃い焼き色になっていきます。ちょっとしたことなんですけど、ここのね、光でこう埋ま
のでちょっと筆を使って最後仕上げるような感じで、えー、濃淡をしっかり。まあ、だから最初肩取ってたものがまあこんなような形まで。And that is how Iwasaki Samples makes just three different types of its hyper realistic food samples.If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to Japan Go for more videos in the future.Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.